in this lesson we will learn about constructors so let's start with this example so here we have defined a class student which has two member variables one a string with the name with the name name and an int of with the name age and here we have defined some more code that we don't understand right now and we'll talk about it so student and brackets and we have said system dot out dot println in constructor okay so this is our class definition so this whole code is the definition of the class student now let's see what will happen when we do this code student st1 is equal to new student so we know when we do new what happens when we do new an object of the class will get created so object of the class and which class student will get created now what happens when an object gets created when an object gets created or an object is getting constructed it will call the constructor so this here student is a constructor it constructs an object of the class student so when we are calling it new student here what will happen is this thing will get called and hence this piece of code will get executed and what will get printed on the screen is in constructor so when we have created this object and when we are creating this object using new it will call its constructor this is the constructor here so it will call this constructor and because in within the constructor we have a print statement so hence on the screen in constructor will get printed now let's go to the next line what are we doing here we are saying student st2 is equal to new student so again here we are creating a new object of the class student so when we create a new object of the class student what will happen the constructor will get called so what will get called here is this part of the code so what will get printed on the screen again is in constructor okay is this clear so let's understand what is a constructor a constructor is called when we create a create an object with the new keyword so when we created an object with the new keyword a constructor was called in the previous example it is called when we execute the code new student so when we called new student it got executed here when we called new student it got executed here okay so let's just repeat it a constructor is called when we create an object with the new keyword and in the previous example we saw it with new student let's proceed so this is exactly the same definition that we had okay and we now let's see what is happening in the code so student st1 is equal to new student so what will happen so a new object of the class student is getting created and hence what will get called is the constructor so what gets called here is this constructor and hence what will get printed on the screen is in constructor so that will get printed on the screen next we have this line called system dot out dot print ln st1 dot name so as we have learned earlier so what will this print sd value of the field or member variable name in the object st1 so what will its object be a value be we have not allocated or assigned any value to it so what will its value be so here when we create an object a default value is assigned so this is of type string so the default value for string is null and the default value for int is 0 so what will be so when we do system dot out dot print ln st1 dot name so st1 the field or the member variable name within st1 will have the default value which is null so what will get printed on the screen is null and when we do system dot out dot print ln st1 dot age age was initialized to its default value which is zero so what will get printed here is again zero so is this clear so default values 
so let's just recap this concept when an object is created all its member variables get a default value and the default value for string is null and for int it is 0 so let's look at another piece of code and another definition so if we notice in this definition of the class student we do not have a constructor so if we just compare it with the earlier one here we had defined a constructor we are now looking at a piece of code and in this definition of the class there is no constructor so let us see what will happen so student st1 is equal to new student we have been doing it earlier also so what will this will do this will create a new object of type st1 now system.out.println st1.name so whenever an object is created whether we have specified a constructor or not what will get called is a default constructor in this case we have not specified a constructor so what will happen is a default constructor is created a default constructor and what does the default constructor do it basically initializes all the fields or member variables to their default values so it will initialize all of them to their default value so default constructor is created and it will initialize all the members to the default value so in this case a default constructor has been created and it will initialize all the values all the members to their default values so when we do system.out.println st1.name what will get printed is the default value of name which was it was initialized to which is null and when we do st1.h it will print 0. So a default if no constructor is defined in the class a default constructor is automatically added in the class. So in this case, a there was no constructor called, so a default constructor was added in the class. And one way to look at it is we had a piece of code like this specified. So this is a default constructor which got it added automatically. So this piece of code has gotten added automatically so which is a default constructor and why did it get added because we did not specify any constructor in this code okay so if no constructor is defined in the class a default constructor is automatically created in the class and what does the default constructor do default constructor provides the default values to the member variables so in this case once the default constructor was created it provided default values for so for string it provided null and for int it provided zero okay the default values let's look at another example so in this case this is our class definition so we have modified our constructor here and we have put in this code name is equal to jack age is equal to 24 and we have slightly modified the print statement so let's look at what will happen here so we have created a new construct uh, a new object with the new so we will create which will create the object st1 and it will call its constructor we know the constructor will be called because we are doing new. so in the constructor when we enter so what will happen is st1.name will now get the value jack because that's what we have done so we called it with st1 so st1.name is jack and st1 dot age will now become 24 and then when we'll come to this line system dot out dot it will print giving values on the screen okay so this is what will happen when this line is executed student st1 is equal to new student now we're doing system dot out dot println st1 dot name so we know the value of st1.name is jack so what will get printed on the screen is jack and then we're saying system.out.println st1.h so what will get printed is the value of st1.h which is 24 so what will get printed on the screen is 24 okay understood